5.1 probability. Probability is the chance that something happens. A couple definitions. An event is the result of procedure. For example, you pick a card, see what card it is. You do something, and what happens? Sample space means all the possible things that could happen. If you roll one die, the sample space is you could roll anything from a one through a six. If you roll two dice, you could roll one on one and one on the second one, one on one of them, two on the second one, all the way down to six and six. Notation, capital P stands for probability. A, B, and C, or any letter, is anything that could happen. P, parentheses A, means the probability that A happens. What's the chance that something happens? What's the chance that you draw a card and it's an ace? The probability that something happens. Okay, the rules of probability. Probability, if something definitely will not happen, that probability equals zero. The probability that something will certainly happen is one. Probability must be between zero and one. That means you can't have negative and it can't be more than one. The reason it's between zero and one is because probability is just the decimal form of a percent. For example, a 50% chance of rain equals 0 0.50 as a probability. Since percent has to be between zero and 100, when you change those to decimals, it has to be between zero and one. Okay, some examples. Example one, 520 college students were surveyed and 345 of them said they preferred taking a math face to face. Part A, if you randomly picked a college student, what's the chance that you picked someone that preferred face to face? round to hundreds, okay, and interpret that probability. If you asked a thousand students, how many would you expect? The solution, since 345 preferred out of 520, the probability is 345 divided by 520. On your calculator, type 345 divide by 520, and you get that 0 0.66 number. The instructions in my math lab say round to thousandths, and that's the third place value. So the three is in the third place. To the right of is a four, so that means that three is gonna stay. Okay, part B, interpret it. 345 out of 420, we just found was 0.663, which is the same as 66.3%. So if we want to know how many out of 1,000, that's the same as finding 66.3% of 1,000. And how we do that is to multiply 1,000 times 0.663. And so that means 663. So it is expected that about 663 would play sports. Why is it about? It's about 663 because we took a sample which is never completely accurate, okay? Samples, remember, mean part of the data. So it's about 663 because that's the percent of 1,000. Example two, 400 students were asked and 345 of them had an after-school activity. What's the probability of selecting someone that does have an after-school activity? And if you, part B, if you took a sample, how many would you expect? So the solution for A, 345 out of 400, 345 divided by 400 is 0.8625, round to thousandths. So the two is in the thousandths. There's a five after it, so that two goes up. Part B, so we'll just take 86.3% of 2,000, which is the same as multiplying 0.863 times 2,000. Okay, example three, there are four blood type groups. Um, we're going to ignore the Rh positive and negative for right here. 
four blood type groups, A, B, O, and AB. Okay, remember that the both parents give one of their genes, and depending on what gets put together, it depends on what type of blood type you actually have. Okay, so O kind of works like zero. If you get A plus one plus a zero, you get and not zero, O. Oh. A from one and zero from another, you have type A. If you get B from somebody, from one parent, and an O from another, you have B. If you get A from one and B from another, you have type AB. If you get both O's, you have O. Okay, obviously if you get the same from each parent, you have the same. Okay, several years ago, my daughter had a surgery and we needed to know what her blood type was. Okay, this is a true story. I have type B, and I know that my dad has type A, and my mom has type B. So, I know what my genotype is. Okay, what does that mean? I know that I must have gotten the B from my mom, and I got an O from my dad. Okay, how do I know that I got an O from my dad? Since my dad is type A, that means... His genotype is either AA or AO, but I know that he can't be AA because he would have given me an A. If he gave me an A, then I would have type AB, okay? My daughter's dad is type A, so that means his genotype could be AO or AA, okay? And I don't know what his parents are, so that's the only thing that we know. It could be her father could be AA or could be AO, okay? I know that I have to have a B from my mom since I have type B, and I know I've gotten to have an O from my dad. I couldn't have got the A from him because otherwise I would have AB, okay? So option one is that the dad has AA, so there's the mixtures. The dad could be A or A, and I know that I have to be B and O. So if you mix A and B, you have type AB. If you get A and O mixed, you have type A. Okay, that's option one. Option two, what if he had type A or had genotype A and O? Okay, so if you mix A and B, you have AB. If you mix B and O, you have BO. If you have an A and O, you have type A. And if you mix O and O, you have type O. Okay, remember that O works like a zero. Okay, so let's count. There are three ABs and eight total things. Okay, there's four possibilities from option one and four from option two. Four plus four is eight. Okay, what about type A? Type A is there three times, so that's also three out of eight. Type B is only there once, and type O is only there once. Okay, so the B is one out of eight, and the O is also one out of eight. And it turns out both of my children have type A, B. Okay, example four. My second child was born on the same day of the week as his older sister. What's the chance? The solution, it's one out of seven because only one of those days would be the same as his sister and there are seven days in a week. Okay, example five. My second child was born on the same day as his same exact same time of the day. Okay, they were both born at 7.08 p.m. This is a true story, okay? This is something that would only happen to a stats teacher, okay? What's the chance that that happened? First, we need to find out how many minutes there are in a 24-hour period. There's 60 minutes in an hour. There are 24 hours in a day. So if we multiply 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day, that tells us there are 1440 minutes in a 24-hour period. Only one of those minutes would be the exact same minute as his older sister. So there was only one out of 1440 chance that that happened. Okay. 
last example, my children's dad has blue eyes. The blue eye gene is recessive. I have green. Green is dominant over blue. My mom has blue eyes. If you have blue eyes, that means you have two of the recessive blue genes. The only way to have blue eyes is if both of your genes are blue. You got blue from your mom and blue from your dad. So find the probability for the eye color for my kids. Capital G is green. Lowercase b is blue. Lowercase is used when you have a recessive. Uppercase is dominant over recessive. Okay, that means it outweighs. So since my mom has blue eyes, that means I know that I got a blue eye gene from her. Okay, so since I have green eyes, I had to have gotten that from my dad. So since my kid's dad has blue eyes, both of his must be blue. Okay, so their dad has to be both blue. Okay, lowercase b for blue. My mom has blue eyes, so I know I got a blue from her. Okay, but the green is dominant over the blue for me. Okay, so for me, I know I have to have GB and their dad has to be BB. Okay, so if you get a G and a B, the green is dominant. Okay, if you get both blue from both parents, you have blue eyes. So two out of four equals one half for each of those. And that's the end of this lesson.